Alrighty there mates, welcome back and in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to remove hard-coded URLs. I'm also going to explain what the heck hard-coded URLs are and why you don't want them. So you know whenever we made this template right here and we made this URL and it worked fine and this was just the URL that the user clicked and whenever they clicked it they went to the album uh, details page. So it was basically slash music slash some number, which was the album ID and slash. Well, part of this URL is dynamic and that's this part. This is actually the album ID and it always changes. This part of the URL, this is not dynamic. This is actually called a hard coded URL and it's actually not good to have right in your template. Now the reason that it's not good to have is because let's say that you have a big website. I mean, I know ours right now is only two pages, the home page and the details page. But whenever you're work working on an actual project, you're going to have, you know, maybe a hundred or a thousand pages. Well, what if your boss came to you and was like, all right, we actually want to change the URL structure of these pages. Well, then you're going to have to go through every single template, find every single link and change them all by hand. All right, music slash something else. So if you have a little website, then it's fine, but it's not really proper. And if you have a huge website, then it's gonna take forever, be a huge waste of time. So what we wanna do is we wanna make this hard-coded URL dynamic. So how do we do that? Well, back in our URLs pattern, you remember whenever I was teaching these to you guys and I was like, all right, you add the regular expression and then you need to hook it up with a view function and then you add this name thing. And then I was like, don't really worry about what this name thing does. We'll get to it later. Just worry about this for now. Well, this is a tutorial where we have to worry about this name thing. What this is, essentially all it is, is a variable that references this URL pattern. So again, index references this pattern in detail references this URL pattern. In other words, slash music slash some number slash. So the cool thing about this is instead of writing a URL that slash music slash some number slash, what we can do is we can actually just use the variable detail and use it here instead. So the cool thing about this is if our boss ever comes to us or if we decide we ever want to change the URL structure, we just have to change it right here and it gets updated in all of our templates. It's freaking awesome. So how do we do that? First things first, let's go ahead and remove everything in, make sure I cut the right things. All right, so just go ahead and delete everything inside your href attribute. So in order to add this dynamic or non hard coded URL, write, what is this symbol? If anyone knows what the proper name of this symbol is called, let me know. All right, so add that, weird symbol and then the percent sign and then write URL. So this lets Django know that we're actually using the special URL that I'm teaching you. And the next thing it needs is the name of the URL. So the name of this is just detail. So in between single quotes, write detail. And for this, it needs one more piece of information because check this out. So part of this URL, whenever we're using the detail pattern, it always stays the same music slash and then this ending part. However, this part right here, which is the album ID, this is variable. It could be the number one, two, 87, 100. So what we need to say whenever we're making this URL is what number do we wanna add in there? Well, the number that we're trying to add is just the album ID. So again, whenever we use this non hard coded URL, what it's going to do is it says, all right, we are using this pattern and for the album ID, we are just going to plug in whatever number this is, which is the actual album ID. So now what we can do is if we have like a hundred templates and we ever wanted to change the structure, we just have to change it right here and it would update in every single template automatically. So this is the way that we're gonna make these URLs from here on out. And I'm gonna show you guys another cool handy trick. And actually I'll cover that in the next video. So I'll see you guys then. And to be honest, my mom keeps texting me and it's kind of annoying me. So I'll see what she wants and then I'll, I'll see you next time.